Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief. Welcome to week five. Uh, firstly, for those of you all who are watching this Wednesday message, I'm really sorry. I didn't do my Instagram live on Sunday, two days ago. I had an emergency I had to handle involving my kids, so you know I would never miss it, but that was important, all right? Um, you know, I had to take the kids to go and get a checkup. They were not feeling well, and um, I had to rush all over to the hospital back. They're fine, don't worry, okay? But I just couldn't get on to Instagram live, all right? So I made a short video telling you guys I couldn't get on, so I'm really sorry to all the Instagram loyal followers of mine who was expecting me live on Sunday, all right? But here I am on the Wednesday message, week five. It has been a crazy time, okay? I was in Dubai meeting all your uplines. Unbelievable. The V partners, the AVPs, the VCs, the corporate warriors there. And then I rushed from Dubai to the airport, straight to the middle of the jungle for ISB. One of the most unbelievable ISBs ever. Today, woke up in the morning, drove to QIU, our very own university in Ipoh, with the one and only Dato Sri Vijay Ishwan, launched a mega community impact project by the QIU um, lecturers, staff, students, practicing rhythm with the Rhythm Foundation. It was a beautiful time with Dato Sri Vijay. All right, and then non-stop, both phones at the same time, everything going crazy. So this is your chief, finally at 3 o'clock in the morning, ready to record his Wednesday message for week number 5. Now, this week on Wednesday message, I want to talk to you guys. All right, so listen to me very carefully. The year has started. You guys have gone through four weeks of networking, ups and downs, TAT, not meeting TAT, some of you exceeding TAT. And then I realized at this ISB, handling all the questions of all the participants, amazing questions, that I assume all the questions they are asking, you guys have somewhere at the back of your mind. Whether you're a brand new guy who signed up, whether you've been building for a long time, whether you're already successful in network marketing with us in QNET and the V, but everyone has questions. So today, all right, I'm going to try to help you find your answers. Because you know, Dr. Sri Vijay trained me, okay, to the best of my ability, never to give answers, but instead raise leaders who can consistently find their own answers. Okay, so let's get into this journey of yours. All right, now first thing I learned, being a student of Dato Sri, and this is very interesting, okay? A lot of you don't know this. I'm a direct referral of Dato Sri Vijay Ishwaran. So he trained me, he built me, my working upline, my mentor, my iconic upline, everything, all right? And he taught me the first lesson. He wrote it in a book, and I'll never forget when he gave me The Sphere of Silence, or one of the best books ever written. Please get it online, wherever, and read it. He wrote in the cover of my book when he presented the book first time to me in 2005. He wrote, all right, Patman, or he wrote my full name, Patman Silan, every answer you seek is within you. Now, I want you to think about this statement. After that, a lot of discussions with him and we discussed, he basically taught me one thing. Life is the greatest teacher. And sometimes when you are stuck on your journey to financial freedom, when you are stuck, dealing with people, all right? You try to seek for answers everywhere. But you don't have that state of mind where you should know that the answer you seek is already within you. You technically already know the answers to most of your challenges in life, most of your questions in life. You just have to apply some basic principles, all right? The first thing I remember when I started is I chose to react to everything. React means emotional. 
All right, you get upset after rejection. You don't hit your T, uh, TAT. You get upset. Your downlines leave you. You get upset. Your downlines switch off. You get upset. There's negative media. You get upset, upset, upset. So you're overwhelmed with these emotions of negativity, frustration. Now, when you're overwhelmed by negativity, frustration, and everything else, you cannot move forward. You are stuck in quicksand. You know, quicksand. And it just sucks you in deeper and deeper and deeper. And that's how people quit this business, right? Because they're so frustrated. They don't know how to handle it, right? They react and react and react. And the more you react, you sink deeper into the quicksand of negativity, depression, and giving up. So he taught me, partner, never react, respond. Now, what does this mean? This means stop. Don't react. Think. All right, of what's happening to you. See the logic behind it. All right, spend a moment of silence in calmness, in meditation. Close your eyes, all right, and ask yourself how should you respond to this situation. So never react. Always respond. Respond means it is no longer emotional. It is logical. It is after logical evaluation you respond. So people who get angry, react. People who get frustrated, react. People who are calm will always find the answer and be able to respond to any situation, whether it's a rejection, whether it's lack of success, whether it's frustration with your team, whether it's uh, not hitting your TAT, whether it's negative media, whatever you go through, as long as you learn to respond and not react, you will never quit this business and you will succeed. So I practice two simple rules, all right, which I share much deeper at ISB. I want to share it with you. The first rule I learned and I practice as much as I can, not to perfection. I still react sometimes. I still get emotional sometimes. But most of the time I respond. I realize that everything that happens to me, anything that happens, all right, there is a greater purpose. It is called the master plan. All right, and it's moronic to react to the master plan. All right, because the master plan is predetermined even before I born. I was born, and each of us have our own master plan, and we have to go through it. And every time you react, you're taking ten steps back. And if you learn how to respond, you keep moving forward even through difficult times. And I realized that that a single blade of grass cannot move without his will. Now, if you practice. This, this belief system that I practice, all right, taught to me by Dato Sri Vijay, then everything that happens to me, I know there's a deeper, more powerful reason. There's a lesson I'm supposed to learn. It is going to make me stronger. It is going to build Patman Senati Raja to be able to handle the next challenge and the next challenge as long as I respond and don't react. All right, guys? And I just practice this simple rule. Everybody that comes into my life, Everything that happens to me, good or bad, there is a greater reason, all right, that I can understand. So I don't overanalyze it till I'm paralyzed, all right? I just respond to the best of my ability, based on my knowledge. And if you empty your cup, open your heart, all right, stay in the zone of your mentor, you will have the skill set, the experience to respond more than you react. First rule, everything happens for a reason, guys. Everything happens for a reason greater than you and I will ever understand. It is called the master plan. That out of almost 8 billion people, why were you chosen to sign up in QNET? There is a greater reason. I want you to think about it. So you did not sign up by accident. You didn't sign up because the presentation was great. All right? It is in your master plan to become part of Dato CBJ and Japa's family and start this journey with us. Now, if you quit halfway, there's still a reason why you joined us to begin with, all right? If you succeed, it's your master plan. If you quit, it's your own choice. You should have just stayed on this journey. Don't quit. So many people who didn't quit make it, all right, eventually. So trust the master plan. Have absolute faith. Your downlines quit. There's a reason. Learn from it, all right? Your market is a crisis. There is a reason. Learn from it. And respond. Don't react. People who react, stop. People who respond, keep moving while they solve the challenge, overcome the challenge as a warrior. All right? There's progress in responding. 
there is stagnation in reacting. All right? Any form of emotional outburst is a reaction. So check, 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 check. All right? So the first rule I realized that, okay, everything happens for a reason. A single blade of grass cannot move without his will. The master plan is greater than all of us. Trust it, embrace it, go on with your journey with a smile on your face. No matter what happens, I know it's easier said than done, but no matter what happens, smile. Right? And remember that there is a reason for it happening greater than you'll ever understand. It's just going to make you stronger. It's just going to make you better. All right, This too shall pass. And one day we will look back and laugh at it no matter what happens. And the second thing I realized that is we lose the battle to our ego every single day. Your greatest enemy is not out there. It is not the journalists who write negative things about us. They will keep writing because they want to sell newspapers. It's not the challenges from our government. Don't blame them. They don't understand network marketing. It's still a fairly young industry. All right. Our enemies will keep attacking us. All right. Whatever it is, your ego is the problem, not them. All right. Your greatest and one and only enemy is what you see in the mirror. An ego that you have fed with fear. You are fed with reaction, you are fed with emotional outbursts, anger, jealousy, insecurity. You are fed and fed that ego and that ego has become a gigantic monster and is beating the crap out of you every day and stopping you from succeeding. So somebody asked me, what is the secret of success? Is it being a warrior? Yes, be a warrior towards our external challenges. But before you be a warrior to the external challenges, be a warrior to your ego. Win that battle within you. All right? Don't allow the world all right, to steal your dream. Now, nobody can steal your dream unless you allow it. Nobody can become an enemy unless you announce or nominate them as your enemy. No challenge is too big unless you make it too big. And not you, your ego. So your ego constantly all right, amplifies everything in your mind all right, to freak you out, to create a consistent feeling of fear, insecurity, inadequacy, all right? And that's why you cannot succeed because the real you was born for greatness. The real you has the same and equal potential as me, Japa, Dato, CVJ, all the V partners, Max out kings and queens. We are all born equal. But somewhere along the line, you started losing your battle to your ego that you fed. Can you imagine? You are feeding the same thing that's beating the crap out of you. That's how moronic human nature is, all right? But guys, your potential is limitless. And week five, six, seven, eight, show the world that you are in charge of your destiny. Don't give control to your emotions. Don't give control to your ego. Don't give control of your life to everybody who doesn't give two hoots about you, who don't care about you who's not going to be there. The journalist is going to write one negative article that's going to last for two days, then it's gone. The government is going to, you know, attack network marketing and in exactly three years, they are the same people who are going to cut a ribbon to our office in countries. I have seen this happen over and over and over again. You just have to be resilient. You just got, that to say, showed this video and I said, remember that the most successful people in the world, it was not about IQ. It was not about EQ. It was not about skill. It was not about knowledge. It was something called grit, G-R-I-T. Grit is the ability to crawl if necessary and scrape your way out of that dark well. Black your fingers bleed. It's the tenacity. It is that consistency. It is that hardcore, all right, never give up attitude that creates success in people. You don't have to be smart. I'm living proof. You don't have to be a genius. I'm living proof. You don't have to have great skill. I'm living proof, guys. You just have to have grit. You just never, never have to give up. All right? This, this business is a proven concept. We've been around for 25 years, guys. We have created more financial freedom in people compared to any other industry. We provide the greatest form of entrepreneurship for the common man and common woman with the uncommon dream. We are in every country, in every corner around the world, giving a chance where there's hopelessness. We give hope. We educate people about entrepreneurship, warriorship, um, 
becoming a better person, growing. We raise leaders every single day in this organization, the VMQNet. So have grit. Trust the master plan. Everything happens for a reason greater than you will understand, including you signing up. There's a reason why you signed up. Right? You signed up because your master plan has decided that this is your destiny to be a successful networker in QNet and your only enemy is nothing. It is not rejection. It is not lack of success. All of those things can be sorted out with presentation, 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 consistency, find a dream big enough that you will never give up, right? Stay in the zone of the upline who's going to inspire you, all right? Stay in the power of association to keep you positive and keep going and going and going and going. The only thing holding you back is yourself. You are your greatest enemy. Right, sort that out. Stop, stop feeding your ego and make it stronger. Feed yourself and make yourself stronger. Dream bigger. Stop reacting. Respond more. Do the sphere of silence and find your Zen moment. Do you understand? Be a warrior from within, regardless of what challenges you face. All right, and people will switch off. Downlines will switch off. Uplines will switch off. Everyone will switch off. Right. So what? All you have to do is stay switched on. Focus on you. Don't worry about the rest of the world, guys. All right? The answer to every problem is you becoming better. The answer to every challenge is you growing and raising up to become a better leader. Guys, your checks will come when you become better. Your checks will come when your ego becomes smaller. Because the question is, who's been building your business? It's not you, it's been your ego. That's why you burn bridges. That's why you get upset. That's why you get insecurity. That's why you, you cut ties with your downlines. You don't support them. You ignore them. You abandon them. You cry. You go into depression. All this is your ego. So the, for the longest time, it has not been you building your business. It's been your ego. And your ego doesn't want you to succeed. So stop feeding the bloody ego. Feed yourself. Feed the truth. Feed your dream. All right. Feed your warriorship. Feed your belief and faith. Your ego will become smaller and smaller. And as your ego becomes smaller and smaller, your checks will grow bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. I promise you that. So guys, all answers you seek are within you. Remember that. You are ultimately the answer to your financial freedom. Make week five the week where you build your business, not your ego. Remember, stop reacting and only respond and no matter what happens remember a single blade of grass cannot move without his will so trust the master plan and keep moving forward love you guys